Hey guys, hey. <clears throat> so, number one, I colored my hair. Number two, you can't really tell um, that it's supposed to be dark purple. It just looks red. But it looks, it looks black in most light, but it's like, when I was mixing it up, last night I was like, it's supposed to be purple girl, and it's not, but that's okay, it's still pretty, and I, um, the next time I go to color it, I'll, I'll get the same one that I always did before, and not be a, a tool, and be like, I'm gonna do this one. Nope. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm sitting out here in front of the uh, Solano College, which is where Matthew was going to be taking some classes, and I don't like sitting in the car <laughs> anymore. Um, I'm not a big fan, so I decided I'd get out of the car and start exploring, so I walked all over campus. I walked over the entire thing, which isn't really that big, to be, to be honest with you, but had you told me 500 plus pounds, why don't we, or 400 plus pounds, or even, you know, 300 some odd pounds, let's go, you know, get out of the car and go explore a college, I'd be like, <laughs> you're cute, oh, you're so cute, you're so cute, all the time, you cute, we pinch your cheeks, so hell no, I wouldn't have got out of this car for nothing. So, um, first thing I went and did was I looked through the student services building and then I just started going to building to building. And I realized, I mean, realized, I mean, honestly, here at a college where, you know, <coughs> it's the most like high school ever, you know, like since I have such a terrible PTSD about, you know, the time I spent in school, like I walked past a shit ton of people and they didn't even bother to look at me like they were just um, like up down oh cute outfit you know kept moving oh glasses cute mo moving that no one did you know or or like snickered or anything that i'm even remotely used to which is just it's boggle 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 my mind you know so for me to even get out of the, like get the courage to get out of the car to get the courage to walk around to say fuck it and just do what I want to do and go exploring and stop sitting in the car waiting for you know because he's going to be in there for like well he's already been in there for like an hour and I, I probably sat in this car for like 15 minutes before I was like get out the car get the hell out the car there's other stuff to do get out the car girl so that's what I did I, I got out of the car um, I feel better knowing that you know I'm, I'm gonna know where everything is here so if he starts when he starts taking classes you know and he needs me to bring him something I'm not gonna be like oh I can't I'm just gonna sit in the car like a scared rabbit and like not come out of my hole I'm so tired of living that way. I'm so tired of being an agoraphobic. I'm so tired of having depression and anxiety and just letting life and opportunities just keep passing me by. Like, I'm, and that's really pretty. Look how, look how the sun is like, ah, oh, you're talking the truth, Nirvana. Ah, oh, the light has been shown. Ah, oh, oh, oh. So, you know, I'm just, I'm tired of living in a sheltered shell of, a, of life. I want something more, and I deserve something more. I deserve to have friends outside of the internet. Not that you guys aren't awesome. Not that you guys ain't amazing. Not that you guys ain't the shit. But I deserve to have people that I can go have coffee with, that I can go and have something to eat with, that I can go over to somebody's house and be like, oh, hi, girl, what you doing? Or I can go get my nails done with some bitches. Like, I deserve to have more than what I've had in the past. I don't want to live on the internet. Like, I don't want this, this between you and I, like to be the only thing I have to look forward to every day. I don't want to live that way. I don't want it. And I it it hurts me. It hurts me in so many ways because this is all I've ever really known is 
the only thing I've ever really understood, the only thing I've ever really known has been isolation and, you know, segregation and being treated cruelly and <clears throat> my, my weight affected everything. It affected everything. And even if I was the nicest person on the planet, most people would just be like, you know, just pass me on by, just pass me on by. You know, oh, she's lazy, she's fat, she's ugly, she doesn't, you know, she doesn't care about herself. And none of those things were true, you know, that I didn't care about myself is that I needed to get my shit together. I needed to get my life together. I needed to, I needed to hit rock fucking bottom. That's what I needed to do. I needed to hit rock bottom and be like, I don't want to die like this. I don't want to be buried in a fucking piano crate. I do not want to be chopped up and to be cremated because they can't fit me in a fucking casket. I don't want that for me. I want more time with my husband. I want to have a chance to have children. I want to spend the entire... Whew. I want to spend the entirety of my dog's lives with me. Like, I don't want somebody else to have to take my dogs because Matthew has to go on deployment or, you know, whatever. I want to be able to take care of my own damn dogs for as long as they live and I want to be there for them. And I want to have long lasting, amazing friendships that span so much further than what I'm used to. The, the sun is just, it's doing it for me. This, this rain is, speak the truth, Nirvana. You hear the words, Nirvana, speak them, speak them to the internet, speak them. So today was a really big eye opener for me in terms of this is what I should be doing all along. Like, I don't have an excuse anymore. I don't have 500 pounds to hide behind. Like, it's time for me to start doing the things that I want to do. And this was just like, just a small eye opener of like, hey, nobody is going to give a shit what you look like. Nobody is going to, as long as you dress halfway decent, as long as you can put an outfit together, girl, like, they don't care. Like, as long as you ain't dressing like the people at Walmart when you walk out the house, nobody should give a shit. And even then, technically, people shouldn't give a shit, but I kind of give you that you walk out the house in your jammies and you ain't sick or had surgery. So I just wanted to put that out here for you guys. I just wanted, cause I, I know so many people who watch me are the same way living our lives via this fucking thing. And that's not, I'm not saying that that's a terrible thing. I'm not saying that that's not something that's not amazing and hasn't been a huge part of my life and will still continue to be a huge part of my life, but that's not all I'm going to be about. That's not all I'm going to be about. I really want something different and I think I deserve it. And I'm going to show you my outfit, which is super cute. Super cute. So I'm wearing this little white thing. And then I'm wearing my little, my little flowy jacket. And then, let's see if I can show you. And then I'm wearing my little lacy. My lacy. And then I got my hair. Because I'm so pretty. I didn't have time to put eyeliner on. <laughs> I was going to, but Matthew was like, we gotta go, and I was like, uh, 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 okay, okay, so this is what, this is what I could manage in under, like, four minutes of grabbing things and putting it on, and I was like, okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good, all right, beautiful, amazing, gorgeous, freaking people, I'm gonna go to the gym tonight, and I'm gonna upload this, um, and you'll see my gym stuff tomorrow, love you! Love you. You should love you. You should know how fucking cool you are. And that you don't have to settle for less. And you don't have to take anybody else's shit. And you shouldn't have to worry about what other people think about you. Because you're fucking awesome. Just remember, you're fucking awesome. Bye.